Hello, hello. I am upstairs pulling shipping. It is that time. And I am looking for a pair of shoes that I sold. So let's see if I can find them. Welcome, welcome back. I am upstairs. I could not find the shoes that I was looking for. So I'll have to, they, I sold them on Poshmark. I'll have to worry about that when I get done. Um, I am going to go ahead and work on shipping what I have here. I have my laptop and what I always do first thing is go to the shipping tab. I am going to ship this first because this is the oldest item. So I scroll down to the bottom of the shipping tab and I pull out the oldest item first and get that ready. It is this little Cuisinart fry pan. I sold it for $15. Happy with that. Um, I don't know how much I paid for it. I probably didn't pay more than $2.50 for it. These kinds of little items I would pick up. I would pick this up again and it did not take long to sell and it's easy to ship. And $15 I think is fine. It should be able to go first class. I just wrap it in bubble wrap. Is it? I don't know what's going on here. I did have to go to the dentist today and get some work, get a crown on my one of my back teeth. So I'm not really feeling that red hot. But as we all know, when you work for yourself, you don't always have choices. It's not like I can call in sick. But that's okay because when I'm done, then I can chill out. So that is the first item that I'm going to ship. And like I said, I don't know how much it weighs. I'm going to weigh it. Yeah, it can go first class. It only weighs nine ounces. So I did wrap it in the bubble wrap. And there you go. And I go ahead and write on it the weight just because it makes it easier on me. So that is all set. The next thing that sold were these Hollister jeans, low rise, super skinny, classic seven, low rise, super skinny, seven slim, just a pair of jeans. They sold for $15. And I believe that these should be able to go um, first class or ground advantage shipping is what they're calling it now. And it is 14 ounces. I'm not gonna wrap these because it's 14 ounces. I'm just gonna go ahead. I would normally wrap them. Then this little uh, Vince, kind of like long sleeve t-shirt sold for $18, just a regular little long sleeved, I don't know. But you know, Vince is a decent brand. So I'm gonna fold it nicely and I am gonna wrap it in tissue paper. I did um, make the decision to not buy a lot of plastic bags. When I run out, I'm just gonna kind of use um, bigger items, bulkier items, I might wrap in a bag, but this is perfect. A little tissue paper. I get this tissue paper for free with my coupon on eBay for having a store. And that's fine. I need to try to save a little bit on the environment. Next was this really cute little chambray denim Club Monaco um, size large romper. This sold for $20. Really nice elastic waist. Really nice little outfit. And actually, 
actually, I'm going to try to refold that. I'll show you what it looks like before I wrap it in the plastic. So that's how it ended up. I had several pieces of tissue paper, so I don't need all of that. So there you go. This weighs 13 ounces. Next thing was this Vineyard Vines Men's Michigan hat, $12. Um, I probably paid $2.99. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I see a lot of people who sell hats. I don't know. I'm not really that crazy about selling hats. But I had it. I picked it up. So... Glad it sold. Then this little blouse, a DR2 is the brand. Kind of like a peasant baby doll, fluffy sleeves, blue floral, um, size small. Kind of a nice dress blouse. You could wear jeans, dress it up, all of the things. And it sold for $18, which is pretty good. I would sell those all day long if I, if I could do that. I probably paid $3 for it. Right, I'm getting down there. The one other item that I have to find that I have to grab is this Carhartt men's um, short sleeve shirt. It wasn't in the bin that it's supposed to be in, so I have to find it. Um, so I'm going to move along. I these jeans Paresco. I don't know. I probably butchered that. Eighteen dollars, size twenty six um, jeans. You know, it's funny because I don't know where I got these or why I have them, but I do. Sometimes it's like, why do I have this? I probably paid a buck or two for these, and that's why I have them, and they do have to go um, priority mail, so I'm going to put them in a legal flat rate because that's what I have right here. going to go ahead. I normally don't seal the package until I actually ship it, but I'm going to go ahead and seal this one. I'm going to put the name on it so I know. And then I sold this little Rachel Ray. This had a flaw. I did list the flaw or I think I fixed it. I don't remember. I think it had a flaw and I repaired it on the back, but I did list it. This was so adorable. When I bought it, I didn't know that it had a flaw. It sold for $15, which I'm happy with that. It's an extra large. Um, so there's that. It feels pretty heavy, so this might have to end up going priority mail. 
And as you guys see, I do the process. I do the same process over and over again. I pull everything, I package everything, I weigh everything, and then I print all of my labels and put all my labels on. I do the same process over and over again. And this is the way I've always done it. And for me, this is the fastest way and, and the most efficient where I don't make mistakes. Yes, this is gonna have to go in a legal flat rate. I don't have any of the regular flat rate. I need to get some. It is a couple, about 30 cents cheaper. Go ahead and close this one up, put the name on it so I don't get it mixed up. Right, and then I have these shorts, these Levi shorts, size four, that sold eleven dollars. Again, I probably wouldn't pick these up again. I probably paid a dollar for them. I've had them for quite some time. I took the best offer. I don't really think putting this using plastic is that much faster um, and you know you obviously have to buy them so whereas this paper I get for free thing was this cardigan cashmere size small beautiful with the pearls this sold for $28 happy with that I'm going to fold it nicely I'm going to use packing paper for this one remember where I got this. I think my friend who gives me stuff gave me this. So I'm pretty sure I did not pay for it, which is great. And it weighs 11 ounces. So that can go first class. So, and that, my friends, is all that I'm going to be shipping. So, I like to try to clean up my area as I go along. And now what I do is I go into eBay and I just check everything that I'm going to ship and then I print my labels. I just go right and click on purchase sh uh, shipping labels and I put in all of my weights. I have everything sitting out and I just put my weights and everything. Just make sure that you 
keep things straight, which I do. And I just go in and put in all of my weights and you're all set. So I am gonna do that. And then I just print my labels and I put the labels on all my packages and I'm all done and I'm ready to go. That's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up. I do these videos every week and uh, thanks for watching. Tree loves to resale. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.